Welcome back to Math Smash. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to do addition word problems. You can see our vocabulary here, starting with the word rucksack, read, understand, underline, choose, solve, answer, check, addition, plus, count on, add, number line, landmarks, all together, and more. Now, rucksack is a method we use in primary schools to help remember the steps needed to properly answer word problems. Each of the letters in the word rucksack represents a step in creating our answer to the word problem. You can see that I've written rucksack in red down the middle of the page and what we need to do for each step. The first letter is R for read the question carefully. You may need to read the question more than once and don't worry, that's okay. The letter U is for underline and understand. This is where we underline words and phrases which we think are important for finding the answer. The letter C is for choose add, subtract, multiply, or divide. The next letter is S, which is for solve. That means we work out the answer in whatever method your teacher has shown you. But I'll show you a method as well. The letter A is for answer. That means because this is a word problem, we need to give our answer as a full sentence. The letter C is for check your work. I'll show you how to do a simple check as well. Let's see how rucksack works when we're working out a word problem. You can see I've written the letters rucksack down the left in red. Let's read this word problem written in green. Remember, the first step in rucksack is to read the question carefully. There were seven footballs on the pitch. The coach brought nine more footballs. How many footballs are there all together? Okay, so I've read the question carefully. If I need to, I can reread the question. Every time I complete a step, I tick, like this, then I carry on to the next step. So, in this case, the next step is you for underline and understand the question. So the first thing I think is important is seven footballs. Then I continue reading and I see the phrase nine more. The word more, in this case, means add, or addition, or count on. I continue reading and I see the words how many and all together. Now, the words all together and more, in this case, give me a pretty strong hint that I'll be probably adding. So I tick the U because I've underlined the keywords and phrases. Just be sure to understand the question. Uh, in this case, I'm drawing a little picture. I have a football pitch. I started with seven footballs and there were nine more. And now I think this will be an addition question, as I said earlier. My next step is to choose which of the four operations I will choose. I can pick from adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. Which do you think I should choose? That's right. It's addition or counting on. Now tick the C. The next step is S, which means solve. I write my number sentence again like this, and I leave a space for the answer. Now, I use a number line to find the answer. I put landmarks on the left and right. I begin on the left. I have a choice of starting with either the 7 or the 9, but I like to use the biggest number first, so I don't have to count on quite so much. Now, I do my hops along the number line like this. Write the size of the hop inside the hop and the number you land on under the number line. So I started with 9 because it was the bigger of the two numbers and then I did 7 hops which took me to 16. So my answer for what is 7 plus 9 is 16. So now I tick the S because we've completed that step as well. The next step is to write the answer in a sentence which I'll write here. There are 16 footballs all together, full stop. Now I tick the A because I've also completed that step. The last step in rucksack is C for check your work. There are lots of different ways you could use for checking your work. One way of checking your work is to do the question again and see if you come up with the same answer. Or you can check using subtraction, which is the opposite of addition, like I've done here, and count back 7 from 16. If you get back to 9, then you are probably correct. Are you ready for the example question? 
Great, here we go. Here's the practice question. Pause the video and follow the steps of Rucksack after you have read it carefully. When you think you're finished working out the problem, restart the video and you can check your work. My first step will be to read the question. So now that you've read the question, tick the R. The next step is to underline for understanding. I saw that there were six children and then seven more and the words how many and all together. Remember all together and more give me the hint that I'm going to be using addition. I've drawn my picture and I have six to start with and then I have seven more. So I've written six plus seven. So I take the U. Then I have to choose which operation to use. Remember I can choose from adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing. I'm probably going to use addition again because I found a lot of words which give me a hint that I'm adding, especially the words more and all together. Now I tick the C. Now I'm on the S of rucksack which means solve. So I just wrote my number sentence again and left a space for the answer. I made a number line which I used to solve the question. I started on the left with the biggest number which is 7. I did frog hops and I wrote the size of the hop inside the hop and the number I landed on under the number line like this. I kept going until I got to 6 hops. Make sure you do this neatly so you can easily count the hops. I can see that 7, which I started with, plus my 6 hops gives me 13. So 6 plus 7 must be 13. So then I tick the S. So I've solved my word problem. The next step is to write the answer in a sentence like this. So I took the A. As you know, the final step is to check your work. I've written 13 take away 6, which should land me back on the number I started with, which in this case is 7. So now I take the C. I could also write 13 take away 7, which should land me back on 6. If it does, then I know my working out is correct. And we're done. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, 